I tore out some hair to give you insight and guidance and I ask that spirit of love and light meets you where you're at in this current space and time. So this is going to be a general reading for Taurus. It's not going to apply to all Tauruses and that's okay. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Today is the new moon in Aries, so this is definitely an opportunity to start something new, to usher in new beginnings as well. I also see this moon phase as an opportunity to remove or banish what no longer serves you. Um, this moon phase is in the sign of Aries, so it's very fiery and can be aggressive, so just keep that in mind. Um, so you'll be feeling these energies today, of course, um, and also tomorrow on the 12th, so Let's take a look and see what visions I picked up for you, <sighs> Taurus. Okay, so I was, <laughs> I saw a bull with uh, uh, just air coming out of its nose, like smoke you know like you see on the cartoons and I hear blowing off steam so Taurus you could have been going through maybe a um, intense situation which caused you to blow off some steam maybe the person you're dealing with is blowing off steam so it's very intense for you um, I'm picking up um, but this is necessary because I'm hearing like things are you're hashing things out or things are being rehashed okay so um, just be really mindful in regards to your position um, play your role very well try your best not to get carried away with anger or anything like that but I, I feel like for some of you this um, this is needing to take place okay so you can blow off some steam and get whatever it is off your chest okay like I said it could be someone that you're dealing with Okay, they're blowing off some steam here. Okay, so I'm going to be using a tarot spread called Truth Not Tales Tarot Spread. I'm using the Green Witch Tarot, and I'm going to be using the Mother Mary Oracle cards after we do the reading here. So what is going to be your focus and fear for the month of April? Focus and fear. here I see three of Pentacles three of Wands the High Priestess and the Earth Mother okay so I see that you guys are really trying to manifest something you're trying to create some stability it has something to do in, in regards to your home home life uh, relationship as well you're really manifesting here especially with this High Priestess energy and the Empress or the uh, Earth Mother energy you're like actively working towards your goal you're really trying to solidify uh, your foundation here it could be financially or just in regards to like uh, your home life okay work okay fears and focus fears and focus you could be working really hard and just maybe have a little bit of fear maybe a little bit of doubt don't doubt yourself <clears throat> don't doubt yourself and the blockage for the month of April. Obstacle and blockage. Obstacle and blockage. Wow. Okay, what is uh, objectively true? What is object objectively true? What is objectively true? Taurus, what is objectively true? Okay. 
Okay, Taurus, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You also could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, the Ace of Chalice was in that, in those readings. Okay, so your fear and focus is the Eight of Wands. Fear and focus, the Eight of Wands. I'm hearing recovery, okay, Taurus. Um, there could be a fear that you may not recover, okay, from something. Um, this could be, you know, maybe recovering financially, recovering from a relationship, okay. Um, that's for some of you. Um, you also could be focused on moving forward, okay? You could have went through maybe a difficult time, a time where things may have been blocked off for you because before the Eight of Wands, it's the Seven of Wands, you know, and it does talk about, you know, standing up for what you believe in, and um, but also talking about health, healthy boundaries. So maybe you could have been on block or there could have been some blockages, maybe internally or within your situation. And now you're at this Eight of Wands energy where things are moving forward and maybe you have a fear that things are, you know, something something else is going to happen. There's there's like a, there's an energy of like PTSD, okay? Um, there's an energy of PTSD. It's like a fear of things going wrong, okay? Or things being blocked again, okay? Um, things... Um, being at a stalemate okay so that that's a fear that some of you may have um but for others of you it's just a focus on moving forward okay you're focused on moving forward you're focusing on weeding out the bs weeding out what no longer serves you okay um um i'm hearing separation for some of you it just could be fear of separation Okay, some of, you, some of you could be dealing with the uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You also could be dealing with a Scorpio. And of course, Scorpio is your opposite sign, uh, Taurus. So this could also represent you. Um, but I see here, it's like um, there could be some fear of like separation and whatnot. But I see that a lot of you are focused on moving forward. Um, uh, also focused on um, communicating as well. All right. I don't see anybody here that she, she's communicating with, but this, um, I was hearing communication. So focusing on communicating what your needs are, being very open with communications. Um, I also see that some of you are focused on, you know, healing. Um, could be focusing on like, um, like healing yourself, working with um, herbs. Uh, just working on healing your relationship, maybe healing your body, your mind, your spirit. There's energy of that. Not really focused on there. Okay. All right. So what is the obstacle and blockage? The obstacle and blockage is Page of Athames. Okay. So Page of Athames. So some of you could um, lack um, confidence in yourself. Okay, some type of confidence in yourself. Um, you know, this page of Athens, it's a young energy here. Okay, so some of you could um, have a child that maybe is a concern for you. Maybe this child is just, um, just maybe going through a difficult time. They may feel like they know what's best for them. Okay, so this could be um, an obstacle for you. Okay, that's for some of you. Others of you, you just like, it's like a lack of confidence here. I see here, there's a part of you that's lacking confidence. I also see here that this is a young energy here, this um, air sign person. You could be dealing with the uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a young, young person. This person could be older, but they kind of have like a young, reckless energy. Okay, um, this person, um, Taurus, could be not to scare you they could be playing with magic okay um, <laughs> doing little rituals okay on you um, so be mindful of that be, be very mindful of that I know it sounds crazy but this is what I see here okay 
Um, this is like a reckless energy. This person can be very reckless here, but I also see that this is the aspect of yourself. It's like you're it's lacking the confidence, okay? I also see this as someone that is, um, this is like my spy card here, okay? There is someone from a distance that could be spying on you or they're using a child to spy on you to a port. Some of you Taurus could have been uh, in a relationship with someone maybe you have joint custody or whatnot and um i'm hearing news fly so maybe taurus uh your child is kind of being used to <laughs> to deliver messages or deliver um not just messages but just to spy your child is kind of spying on you for for your ex-partner okay if that makes sense they could be spying on you. They can, you know, maybe your ex-partner could be asking your child all types of questions to get information, you know. So just be mindful of that, you know. It's not the child's fault, but, you know, just be mindful of that. Okay, this is somebody that wants information. They're using your child to get information. That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? Okay. Um, I keep hearing news, news flies, okay? Um, so what is objectively true? We have the four of wands here. Okay, so Taurus, despite what you're going through, maybe the challenges, maybe the fears that you have, you know, despite all of that, I see here that you're going to have a harmonious home. Okay, this is the four of wands. This is a connection with someone. This could be a cancer person that you are dealing with Taurus or this could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries. This is somebody that you could potentially be married to. For some of you, you're married to this person. So for others of you, you're just in a really strong bond with this person. So this is a relationship that is built to last, I'm seeing here, okay? Um, I'm also seeing here, if you want things to move forward, the lines of communication has to be remain open and there has to be understanding. Um, this is somebody who's dedicated to you. This is someone that allows you to dump on them at times, Taurus. Okay. <laughs> and when I say dump on them, it could just be that you, uh, you know, maybe emotionally dump on them or they take on a lot of responsibility. This could be the other way around where you allow this person to dump on you. Okay. Um, that's not really healthy. I mean, you, it's really important that if you're in a connection in a relationship, it's, it's all about reciprocity. It's not about dumping all on one person, okay? It's like you both carry the load. You guys are both, you know, um, team players, okay? So that's how you have a functioning, healthy relationship. You know, you guys work as a team, okay? So this is objectively true. But I do see that this is a really strong connection you have here. Um, for some of you, this relationship may not be physically, it may not look like this, okay? It may not look like this, but this is this could just be what you are desiring. Okay, you could be in communicate very well, be in communication with this person, but this is like you look at this person as your one and only, or this person is looking at you as their one and only here. Okay, um, but I do see here, Taurus, that um, you are deserving of love, especially those of you who are single. I do see. Um, you meeting your match someone who is your partner someone who is your other half so i definitely do see this and i also feel like some of you taurus even if you're not in a relationship right now it's like there's someone on your radar who you look at who you um value this is somebody that you really value and care about okay you may not be in a harmonious state right now or this person may not have materialized or not this materialized but maybe you just you're you're seeing this person that's having potential to be your mate okay i see that okay it's like look how they look at you there's a lot of love there um, but I do see here that there is an opportunity to have a strong foundation. It doesn't have to just be about love. It can just be in regards to your work, your home life. This is a happy home. This is, you know, having like healthy connections as well. So for those of you who are not in a relationship, I do see that a strong foundation. I see a strong foundation here. Okay. With healthy connections. Okay. This could be in regards to your career. All right. Um, just having a strong foundation and a fruitful, fruitful connections with the colleagues and people that you work with as well. 
okay there's like team players there I see I see a team player here okay but you got to have confidence in yourself you really got to have confidence in yourself and and understand that you are deserving of um, authentic relationships okay and then what you need what do you need to um, what steps you need to take okay the steps you need to take is the ace of chalice so this is um, this is a really beautiful card. So I see this as a need to love yourself more. Um, also to find um, like an outlet, an emotional outlet. Some of you could um, hold a lot of things in. And it could be because you're an earth sign and you're, because you're a fixed sign as well. So this is a call for you to be more expressive emotionally. Okay. Some of you may feel like you can't express yourself emotionally how you truly feel because you don't feel safe. Okay. You don't feel safe. So you may tend to hold things in or maybe sometimes isolate a little bit, okay? And that's not that's not a good thing. And if you're not physically isolating yourself, like you're isolating your heart, you're not putting your heart out there, okay? Uh, so it's a call for you guys to be more um, emotionally intelligent, being more aware of your emotions and also aware of the emotions of others, understanding others as well, okay? Um, and going back to this page of Athens, you know, this page of Athens can be somewhat reckless in communication. So it's being very uh, mindful in regards to the communications that you're having with others, how you're communicating with others. Okay. It's being, like I said, being emotionally intelligent um, and also releasing any type of emotions that you have been suppressing and finding an outlet, maybe connecting with someone that you trust. Okay. Connecting with someone you trust, having a heart-to-heart. -heart. Um, connecting with someone that you feel safe with as well. Um, but it's the call for you to be more more loving. Okay, be more. some of you are needed to be more loving to yourself. Okay, it's, it's, it's forgiving yourself as well. Uh, some of you also, when, when emotions tend to run high, you tend to just jump out the water. <laughs> some of you don't like dealing with emotions here at all. Because the fish is supposed to be in the water, but he's not. So when things get a little bit too much, you tend to like run away a bit. Okay, you don't want to deal with that. It's too much for you, which is understandable. But that's not always a good response, especially if you are trying to have a functioning um, relationship or connection with others. Okay. Um. And it could just be jumping out of the water because maybe this person, this page of Athens person, maybe when they get really emotional, it's, just, it's too much to bear. Some of you have to do that, you know, for the sake of your peace. You have to jump out the water. You, you, you can't be swimming in their emotions. I'm really picking up on Aquarian energy here, okay? Like strong Aquarian energy, All right? Um, what else am I seeing here? Uh, but yeah, forgiving yourself and, and, and trying to cultivate more uh, love and even forgiveness, forgiving yourself as well and forgiving others. Okay, so let's take a look and see what message Mother Mary has for you. We're going to pick the second card because the second house belongs to you, Charles. The house of finances, possessions, and values. Could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. It's not like Cancerian energy here in Aquarian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aries. Definitely could be an Aries as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, hard for time. One, two. Wow, Our Lady of Comfort. This was in the Capricorn reading. Okay, so Taurus, you could be done with the Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. Okay. Also could be dealing with the Libra, someone with Libra in their chart as well. So this is all about comfort. Okay, this goes hand in hand with this uh, Four of Wands energy. Okay, so you can definitely seek comfort. Okay, through connections. Um, connecting with people that you trust, um, 
it's time to no longer isolate yourself or hold things in. Isolate your heart. It's, 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 you can't keep doing that anymore. It's not working for you anymore. Okay. It's time to share how you truly feel and express how you truly feel. Okay. Um, What else am I seeing here? Some of you uh, may not want to do that because you feel you fear getting hurt. Okay, you may have um, you may not have um, confidence in speaking and maybe articulating how you truly feel. Okay, and that could be because you don't feel safe with the person you're trying to communicate with, or just in communicating in general. Okay, so it's, it's really important that you get in the habit of speaking from your heart and expressing how you truly feel because once you're able to do that, you then have an outlet. Energy can flow more freely, okay, and, mo and emotions um, are not going to be repressed or, or, or stagnant, okay? Energy has to keep moving forward, okay? So really get in the habit of expressing how you truly feel to others, okay? And being more being confident um, sometimes when we are not comfortable expressing how we truly feel and speaking from our heart we can come off as a bit reckless you know our communications can come off as a bit immature reckless we respond in like maybe immature ways or just reckless with our mouth okay and, and that may not be our attention Okay, our intentions may not be to speak recklessly, but we may have a hard time expressing from our heart because we don't feel secure with what we're saying. Okay, so it's going to be a call to get back in touch with your heart. Okay, it's definitely a call for that. So let's take a look and see what the book says. Okay, and you could be desiring to be close to someone. You could be desiring to be close to someone dear to you. You could be desiring to be close to a child as well here, okay? That can be the block. This is your child could be giving you comfort. Your child or children can give you comfort. So, um, Our Lady of Comfort, even though you may not see me, I am holding your hand. Even though you may not hear me, I am speaking through your heart. I am never far away from you. I am by your side with love, guidance, and protection, always. You are my own. I could not bear to be apart from you. Receive my message of comfort and peace now. Healing process and affirmation. Close your eyes and sit comfortably. Place your hands on your heart, your head, or belly. Wherever you feel stress or wherever feels most in need of comfort, say aloud, I call on Mother Mary who loves me unconditionally and I ask for your divine protection, healing, connection, and love now. Through your divine grace, so be it. Imagine, imagine, sense or intend that the healing, non-intrusive but strong touch of the Divine Mother is reaching to you through your own hand and resting on your body in an unconditionally loving way. Sit like this for a few moments, and if you can allow yourself to feel reassured. When you are ready, complete your healing process with the following affirmation. The Divine Mother loves me unconditionally and comforts me with truth. Only the, only the, only the Divine plan shall be. All is safe and unfolding according to Divine Wisdom now. I trust in her and I am safe. That's beautiful. Okay, so trust that you will be okay. Okay, and also trust that you're not alone either. Okay, operate from your heart chakra. It's time to open that up and speak from your heart. How you truly feel. Be open. Allow the energy to flow, the emotions to flow. Okay, find a safe place. A safe place can be with someone you trust, even. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the reading, Taurus. If you are interested in a reading, please send me a message through my website. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.